Hello and welcome back to uh, Isometric Drawing. So this is Drawing 8 and this is what we are going to be, uh, we are going to be replicating this drawing. So if you look at this drawing, it's looking like a step, a 3 step, 1, 2, 3. So how do we go ahead to draw this in uh, using Isometric Drawing? So that's what we are going to be covering in this video. And don't forget, you can find the link to the other 7 drawings that we've looked at so far under Isometric Drawing. The links are in the description of this particular video. So to start with, I'm going to draw the, the line that is the horizontal line. So I'll bring it down in bits, then I'll draw the vertical line, so which is what we are going to be starting from. So for us to draw uh, this uh, uh, this three-step diagram it very easily, one thing I would advise you to do is to first of all draw a a rectangular box, a rectangular box that will contain the step itself. So just follow along. So let me indicate this point of intersection where the vertical and the um, horizontal line meets. So bring in your set square. So you bring in your set square from this point, you draw straight line like this so from here you are going to have something like this so now let's take um, the measurements so if you look at it uh, the length from here to here is, is 60 60 mm so which is same as 6 cm so that is from here. From here to here. To this point. Why that from here to here is um let's see. Okay, 40. So that's four centimeter. So that is it's 40. And then for the height, so if you look at the total height here. Is um, is 30, so that's three centimeter. So this is a three. So, but there's one thing I want to do. If you notice that uh, they are these three steps, they are um, 10 mm apart. Uh, I mean, 10 mm from here to here is 10, another 10, another 10. So that means that let me just divide it into three so that it makes it easier for us. So now I don't need to measure it again. So that being done. So let me just bring in the, the T square again and then I have my set square. So like I said, I, will I want to first of all draw uh, the rectangular box that will contain the step. So make sure you are doing it with a faint line. So from this point, I'll draw the vertical lines. So from right, from the top of those vertical lines, And then from here. So what this means is that this uh, this step you're having here will be within within this box that we've just drawn. So like I said, to make it there, the work much more easier for us. So now I want to draw this line from here to here. So since we've measured yet from this point to this point to be 10 mm, so you can go ahead to draw this line. So we are going to be having something like this. So 
So also I'll draw these lines. Make sure they are still faint lines like this. And then like this. So another thing I want to do is this. If you look at it, they are also this is 20, 20, 20. That means the distance from here to here, from here to here, from is 20, 20, 20. So that means I can go ahead and divide this line into uh, three equal parts. That's 20, 20, 20. So this is going to be 20 and another 20. I hope you are following. So with that, I can bring in the set square again. So draw this straight down like this, just between this this first one. So this is where I mark the second point, but I'll be just be joining this here like this. So this is the only line that I'm having here. So now I want to start working on the step one after the other. So now we already have this uh, this line. So from this point here, this point particular point here represents the one here so what I want to do, I want to draw this line so from here From here to here, so that has given us our first step. So let's take it up. So if I, from this point now, take it up a bit, a little. So from here, you draw a line to come and touch it. Here. So that would be from here to here. So that's what I want to do now. So let's draw the second one. So from here, we draw the line like this. So this line I've, I've just drawn, this is it here, like this. So to complete it from here, so we'll draw a line to come and touch it here. And then from here, we'll draw a line upward. So this particular one, this is it here. And then we'll join the top. So with this we already have our our step so let's go ahead to make it bold so let's draw uh, the lines that matters the important lines that will make the, the step appear very well so let's make it bold so in doing that so this will be to this point from here to here so now let's let's do the front Okay. 
So that's the that's why I, uh, I said earlier you should always start with a faint line so that whenever there's a mistake you can easily 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 uh, rub it off and then you do the right thing. All right, so let's join it to this top. So with this now you can see we've been able to replicate this particular uh, isometric drawing we've been able to replicate it here so so the next thing i want to do is to show the dimensions so like i said it's always important to show your dimension so from here to here Alright, so that is it on this video. We've been able to replicate this, add the dimension and every other thing. So if you have any questions with regards to this video, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And in the next uh, example, we are going to be looking at uh, Technical Drawing 9. Make sure you don't mix that one also, Technical Drawing 9. That video will be coming up immediately after this video. So thank you very much for watching. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click on that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And if you find value, please give it a thumbs up. So with that, I'll see you in Drawing 9, Isometric Drawing 9. Thank you.